Welcome to the Grace Down Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm Mike the Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT, I saw something online. Yeah. And it said the average. Hold on, I want to get the exact thing right now. Average. The average single male. Okay. Changes his sheets just four times a year. Holy crap. Average? Well, av- that's the average, right? Because some- Average? I mean, there's some that probably don't change them all year. They really, they really put it down. Change your sheets? Yeah. Yo, fam, I'm not even gonna lie, man. Like, I thought I was disgusting. All right. You look. thought you were, or is it something convinc- or something like change your mind? Or? Yeah, because like, look, I'll be looking at my sheets sometimes. Like, oh, sh- I haven't changed my sheets all month. Like, I mean, I should, I shouldn't say that. I should say I haven't changed my sheets like two, three weeks. I really need to change my sheets. And I, you know, I do it, but four times a year, that's, that's like, like every, every three, three months, months. <laughs> every quarter, exactly. that's insane. You know how much like butt juice and sweat and Yo, skin follicles and like, that's insane. I can't look, look, I'm going to keep it a buck. I, I try th- to go a couple weeks at the longest. Exactly. Like I thought yeah. I was nasty for doing it once a month. Yo, three, yeah. once well, and, every three well, months and here, I'm, I'll be real. If I am like, if I'm having consistent sexual relations with a lady, oh, I change them not. a hell of a lot more yeah, because there's yeah, like sex yeah. juices on them. Yeah. Um, but if I'm just single and not, 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 uh, not having sexual relations every couple weeks. Yeah. I would like to know where this information came from. It was, uh, it was, a. it was, I will say it's like, uh, I feel like. What this really illuminates? Oh, is, it's British single men aged eighteen to twenty-five. Oh, see, that's not even America. Like they do weird shit over there. Like what? I don't know. Like they biscuits don't biscuits that are cr- cookies. Like they don't understand iced coffee. That's what Andrew Schultz says. Ew! I thought yeah. you were gonna say that's what Andrew Tate says. No, Andrew Tate says some different things about British people. <laughs> oh, does he? Yeah, but apparently, you know, they they don't have a big enough brain to understand what iced coffee is. Um, I mean, iced coffee is gross. That's that's just an untrue statement. It's just coffee with it's cold. That's what do you, gross. What do you drink? Cold co- coffee. I do drink cold that's coffee. Gross. You okay? So now the, we're just gonna take <laughs> dude, this podcast to a whole different two, level. Two in a row, dude. What's, what's the problem with cold coffee? What is that? Why? Why? Why is gross? it gross? Yeah. I mean, you drank it. You know. I do drink it, and I <laughs> say it's no more gross than hot coffee. I don't understand. What's the difference between like a, a hot sandwich and a cold sandwich? Oh, a lot because cold sandwiches are trash. And see, no. But I eat them all the time because they're easy. <laughs> okay, so I have to say the same with coffee. Like, I don't you know. You just don't want to heat it up? I mean, I don't know. Who cares? If you had a choice. Well, when would you eat drink? Cold Probably or hot? cold, yeah. Ew. Probably cold. Cold over hot. What about like. It I- doesn't. It, look, my point is that. The flavor profile has not changed. Well, it's like cold pizza or hot pizza it tastes a lot different. Yeah, but both are delicious. Yeah. I mean, I'm not saying... Coffee that. is never delicious. No, right? you're right. It is okay, not. then. It's not. It's gross. So, But I drink it a lot. Yeah, but I see. I think it's the way you take your coffee. Explain to the people how you take your coffee. Oh, I drink the I drink like the extra dark cappuccino bre- or uh, espresso brew. Not espresso, actual espresso. Just extra dark beans, black black so nothing nothing added no sugar no cream no nothing nothing so just straight up just like coffee bitter water coffee in the cup bro. that's what you like bitter water i I like coffee i like whiskey so i I can understand um you having affinity for for uh hot coffee cold black coffee would be really gross and see i but i drink cold black coffee i thought you but drink I, cold like fruity coffee what the what is that wait i don't know what that means <laughs> i feel like you've been taking a lot of subs at me this week and i love it i love it <laughs> i do because i said you really like peanut butter you said i really like peanut butter <laughs> I'm, what an a-hole you said i really I'm a like bi- no you said i'm a big homo for liking cold Excuse coffee me? that's what you said <laughs> i don't we can run it back we can run right, it yeah, back yeah. Jonas said Jeff, you... i said you're a big old slur <laughs> yeah, like, you're a big old slur who likes coffee yeah, okay there we go we got yeah. the, we, we got the audio now yeah you call me a big homo <laughs> for liking coffee i'll make sure to isolate that put it up as a short i can't believe you would say these things i'm a trash person um and i'm Okay, I forgot where I was going. I don't even remember. But, but I do. I like cold coffee. Um, I do drink black coffee. I usually put like a little bit of like a squirt C, uh, what do you call it? Oh, Trubia or whatever. Like, yeah, yeah, like yeah. Stevia, like Stevia, whatever Stevia. it is, yeah. Because yeah, I, I, mean, I can't drink just black coffee anyway. Like I always got to put a little sweetener. 
I mean, it's like look, drinking those unfl- unsweetened seltzers. I could, I can't, I couldn't get down with that jam. I can't get down with. I can't get down with a uh, straight black coffee with no sweetener. Like I don't need the cream, but I do need a little bit of sweetener. I can't get down with uh, leaf water. Oh, what tea. I can't get down. And here's, with, and here's the messed yeah. up part: is I don't. I like iced tea way better than hot tea. Hmm. But you do realize that the flavor profile Ice is tea really is true. thirst quenching. Coffee is not. Is coffee supposed to be thirst quenching? No, I don't know. I don't really drink coffee for like. I'm not like, oh, I'm so thirsty. I'll I have a cup of like, coffee. It makes me not want to eat food. It is a it is a hunger curber. I drink it mostly because it's like, hey, I want to stay the f up, you know. Yeah. So I don't know. I don't know. I don't understand your version of iced coffee. I don't understand your version of hot tea. I mean, I'll drink hot tea. I'm not drinking I, flavorless tea, though. You're not going to get me... Just regular... See, that's how I drink my tea, too. Just tea and walk. Tea in the cup. That's it. No sugar, no nothing. I don't know, man. I, I That's very Southern of you, but I think that... No, it's, actually, it's the opposite. They they put, like, four cups of sugar in there. Oh, sweet tea? Yeah, it is a thing. I feel like when it comes to, like, the tea elitist, like, the elitist would be like, I don't take the sweetener in my tea and then like <laughs> i want to hear the natural aromas of the errol gray leaves I, do, I feel like a lot of people in the south have like this issue where it's like if you drink sweet tea or if you drink like a uh, regular tea or without yeah, any sweetener you know, like, and there's like this hierarchy where like the people who drink like unsweetened tea are like i'm better than the people who drink sweet tea it, it's really interesting. i don't drink either one it's really interesting when i think about it being a kid like i was like a chubby kid and I was like, looking back, the amount of like sweet, like non diet cola and sweet tea that my mom let me drink was stupid. And, and when she made, and like, and when people make sweet tea, it's like you make a gallon of tea and put like four cups of sugar in it. Fair. Like, that's like a quarter cup of sugar per fucking uh, liter or per yeah. quart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so much sugar. I mean, I mean, that's a whole cup per quart. That's like, so you break that into fours. It's like a pint glass with a quarter cup of sugar in it. You put hot water in it and just drink it. I don't know how to tell you this, man, but we grew up in an era where nutritional like information was just like it was at a premium, man. No, we didn't know. We don't know. Yeah, because we were in that weird spot where like processed stuff was out. But it kind hadn't become of. as big as it was, and no one knew the effects of it. Yeah. And it just was, like, full of, like, sugars and, like, whatever. And, like, I mean. Yeah, we were, were we were beta testers for, for this stuff, man. Yeah, like. And if you think about it, your parents were beta testers, too, because, like. Just uh, not as much, because it was, like, it was still that thing I mean, where, like, everyone cooked at home. But, oh, there's, like, you can go out and get McDonald's, right? Like, but then, like, when we were, gro- like, there was a billion fat, and now there's a a trillion fast food you know it's like restaurants like it was you think about like my grandparents hardly ever ate fast food they would either go to restaurants or they would cook at home and i'm like oh let's go through let's go get a pizza a pizza why would we go order a pizza and i'm like why the fuck not (laughs) they're like i'm gonna make some pork chops i know right yeah we got uh what was it uh frijoles in la cocina got beans in the kitchen that was that's like the (laughs) Uh, okay, all right. Jones real Texan with it. Yeah, it is. I mean, but when it comes down to it, yeah, I feel like every generation is kind of like the beta testers for like the next like big. All right, this is common knowledge now. So I, I like if I go back even further, I would say smoking, like the smoking campaign. People were smoking cigarettes like it was going out of style, and then eventually it, it became common, common knowledge that that shit is not good for you. And now, like, if I even see a person smoking a cigarette nowadays, I'm like, bro, you still smoking cigarettes? Yeah, they they really knocked that industry down. Yeah, because yeah, dude, there used to be ads on TV, ads in magazines of like I remember the old Newport ads, and it would be a full page ad, and it looked like everybody was having the goddamn time of their life in that ish. And I'm looking at like a, a video game magazine. It's like it's in like Game Pro, and there's like a cigarette ad. And they have all of these like fruit flavors. You can get new Fruit Loops flavored Camel packs. And I'm like, yeah, oh. dude, Joe Camel will come and fillet you. Yeah, and so as the knowledge became more more uh accessible to everybody and people stop smoking so when it comes to like foods and the sugary foods and yeah except for now it's the cheapest food and everyone's poor so (laughs) 
<laughs> I mean, yeah, there's definitely a subculture that does not still doesn't have that knowledge, nor do they have the money to get out of that uh, that rut. But yeah, like I don't know, I don't know. So I don't know, dude. It's all about that knowledge gate. It man. really is about the knowledge, and, and it's about the people you, around you. What do you feel like the knowledge gate is for the people living right now? What do you think it is? The amount of social media they use. Is that what you think it is? I think it is. I would say that it would be uh, mental health. I feel like. As, oh, no, I think if anything, mental health is finally getting the, the respect it deserves. That's, like that's we were probably the mental health like. Like, we were, like, the last era that was just, like, just suck it up. It's all right if you want to kill everyone. And that's kind of what I'm getting at. Like, it's, like, that's that's more, like, right now is, like, people are coming to terms with, like, okay, we might we, we might have problems, and these problems might have something to do with the way we act, treat other people, the way reason people well, treat us Well, but I think that feeds way. in. I, I really think that part of it is the social media thing. Because, like, explain, explain. well, because... Well, I mean, we're out of time, but I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll cap it. Whatever. So essentially, like, I think part of the mental health crisis, two things. One, everyone is superficially connected through social media. They don't connect in real life. And then what they get from for, what they get from social media is that they're not good enough constantly because everyone puts the best of their life on the social media. Everyone's fake. Everyone's like whatever. Everyone's like here's all my shit. And then really there's like at home depressed crying because their life is terrible. But they're like let me just make everyone think I'm doing all this awesome ish. And then they're comparing themselves to these snippets of everyone else's fake lives. And they're, everyone thinks they're not good enough. Everyone thinks they're ugly. Everyone everyone is not connecting with people because they're all just like. That was like a thing I told you about social media where like somebody was like they ran into someone they hadn't seen in many years and they were talking to them about their kids. And he was like, how the hell do you know about my kids? Oh, your, <laughs> your partner was posting on social media and it, like, but I haven't talked to you in like a decade, but you know yeah. about me. Everyone's like yeah. stalking each other on the Internet. It's yeah. weird. It is weird. It is. So. I, I mean, I never got it. I never really got heavy into social media. Oh, me neither. I did when it first started because it was fun and new and no one used it. Once it got popular, I was like, oh, I'm out. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, we can continue that on the next one if you want. I, I like that topic. So, that's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to like and subscribe. Go to thecreatestown.com for Jonas. TNT. Oh, yeah.